Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today's video will be a tutorial on Star Trek New Horizons as requested. Um, so we are doing planet management. Uh, I'll show you what all these buttons do, these decisions, or what all this means and all these districts. Uh, so I am doing this in my private game that I am currently doing for fun, obviously. Uh, so let's just get into it. So first off, I'm using my planet Zheng of the United Earth. Uh, so you could, you can actually do automatic planet management if you click this here. As you can see, it says automatic automation on. So I could leave that and it will do it itself. But it will do, it will give you this, this low colony automation stockpile which you'd have to actually make a planet and sector, which I will show you how those work in a separate video. So if you wanted to just let your planets build themselves, you would click on planet automation. Uh, planet automation settings, you can designate it to either just automatically upgrade buildings, automatically build, uh, build amenity uh, buildings. So like if we just take a quick look, uh, amenity building would be where is it do we already have it no it's probably because so here entertainment if you see here entertainment sent a uh, planet limit one enter entertainer jobs uh job pays production six unity plus 19 amenities which are these up here so you can do that so where we're looking planet automation you could do uh, automatically make it build buildings that gives all sorts of additional resources so if you take a look up here you can see like chemocyte telonium crystals topoline magnesite omega molecules so you can do that um we don't actually have the uh vo volatile moles is that i think that's chemocyte so you could do that, you could automatically have it build buildings that will make, or that will assemble pops, so in terms of like robot workers, uh, you, you get you get the idea, building slots, which actually I don't know what that one does, so new building slots, okay, reduce crime or clear blocker tiles, also you can choose what kind of colony you want. So obviously I always have it on automate, automate colony designation selection. So pretty much what I build on my planet, it will just automatically assign it to that. Uh, you can have an industrial colony, which will do mining district build speed, minor, minor and strategic resource gather output plus 25%, worker pop resource output plus 10%, bread basket, which is just obviously additional uh what do they call them modifiers to farmer jobs and same with commercial you can have university planets which is obviously bonuses to research bureaucratic or a spiritual world i think you can unlock additional ones through research um i think there's ones like fortress worlds i believe which is as it sounds it's like a fortress world so we'll have a lot of army well, a lot of armies, so it's not as easy for the enemy to take over. Uh, I think that's that. Again, we'll get into this. This is all about sectors, which I'll do an entire different video on. Pretty much, you can assign... You know what? I'll do it now. So what this is, no sectors. So if you go into your planets and sectors, if I clicked... No, no, ignore that. I need to click this one. Create a new sector. This will create a new sector with this planet as its sector capital. All systems within four jumps, not previously a part of any sector, will become part of this new sector. So if I do it for Earth, because obviously I want Earth to be the capital, I do that, and then if we zoom out here, uh, yes, I in my private games, just to make it more fun, I just I cheat a little bit, but don't tell anyone. Um, where is it? If we click on sector maps, as you can see... Within four jumps, it says, so one, two, three, four, uh, that's five, but yeah. Uh, so this is now a sector, which if I just quickly unpause, please, thank you. So now you can see this is the Earth sector. 
And then if we go back into planets and sectors, you'll see this is now uh, its own sector, which I could get to do stuff automatically. Sector management, so click on like balance focus. You can get ones that focus on resources and stuff, just like you can on the planets. You can assign a governor, which would give additional bonuses. So what does my governor do? Um, doesn't have trade. Oh, it's got a trading background. So if I clicked on Earth, you'll see this is my governor, which gives. Oh, there it is. Latinum production plus five percent. So you can do that for your sectors as well. If you wanted to make it automatically do it, I can I do? No, I can. Planets and sectors. Uh, I, no, I think you just have to give them resources, don't you? So in order to do a... Or make it manage all planets within that sector, so it'll be these nine, you have to give them resources. So if I do that, that'll be like in the trade resource, or you could actually give it to individual sectors. So this one, the shared stockpile, uh, any sector can use, but if you click on trade resources and give them just say 1k of that then this is a local stockpile which only this sector can use and again you can change what you want it to produce so obviously I can only use balance so if you clicked on balance it would make every planet balanced in what it produces uh, so that's pretty much it for sectors so you can't delete a core sector uh, I'm, I don't actually know what makes it a core sector um, if I clicked on... No, oh, I can't even do that with Vishnu, can I? Never mind. So if we go back to the planet, so that's the cause done. You can obviously move your capital if you wanted. Uh, Auto-designated, we've done. Planet special uh, automation, we've done. Back to these districts. So you've got city districts, agricultural districts, industrial districts, commercial districts, education districts, and administrative districts. Each gives a bonus per job uh, for various things. So if you start with the administrative district, it costs one luxury, it's luxuries, right? Luxuries to upkeep per district. And you can only have a, cer a certain amount. So here we can see 13. You see these two that's got like uh, it crossed out. That's to do with the planetary features. So if I remove that one which I don't actually have the technology for it will give me two more districts which are these two that are crossed out so you'd want to clear them out if you started running low on districts but um, so yeah so administration district gives an additional 5% unity per unity producing jobs uh, I believe that yeah, so that actually increase that doesn't increase, but it's five percent per district you've got. Uh, I don't want administrative districts, thank you. So obviously, it'd be like five. To, if you wanted to use just purely administration districts, you can get uh, five, ten, fifteen, thirty percent uh, bonus to unity per unity producing jobs. Uh, same goes with like the education and commercial districts. Uh, they cost different resources to upkeep. So city is water rice, agricultural is that uh, um, nitrate thing, that brazine nitrate, and deuterium for industrial and commercial, and luxuries for education and administrative. So I know I talk a lot in my videos about I need more research. This is one way I could do it, but when it comes to an actual YouTube video, on my series I just forget I'm you know me lads I am more about just trying to conquer things and failing but if you wanted to increase say say we was on earth and we've obviously got the Cambridge University and oh that don't give anything but say because we've got the Cambridge University we could pump a lot into education districts and get that research per job up as well as it gives 6% to crew production. You see trained officers. That's that's what crew production means. It just means you're trained officers. Uh, commercial district, self-explanatory. 
just increases the energy credit production from like reactor jobs and we don't have it do we here the geothermal well no um, but that's pretty much what that does industrial increases mineral from minor jobs uh, supplies from artisan art jobs and alloy alloys from factory workers and the agricultural one again self-explanatory just increases um, food from farmer jobs and for some reason increases habitability I suppose it makes sense if you're planting crops it would yeah okay that makes sense and lastly uh, city districts just increase your housing which is up here which you'll need uh, positive housing otherwise then they start getting upset and you lose stability and it can uh, ruin your planet so I think they can rise up or it's just easier for them to take uh, ignore these additional bonuses here you can find natural bonuses as well on planets uh, let's see if we can find one well, it's not going to be one on lunar is it oh okay there we go lunar colony minerals from jobs plus 15% so um, plus 15% from my minor jobs there do we have any more well, it's not going to be one on Mars great here we go natural beauty which increases planet's happiness just like again this these are just natural ones that i found with the planet um what else do we need to talk about uh yes production as well so if we click on these so this is how you get rid of your uh planetary features certain ones of these allow for certain building slots so none of the, none on that one Terra Nova should have one, I believe. Um, okay, strategic location. Is there any others? No. So like this one, strategic location, max naval supply depots. I don't think I've got it researched. No, I don't have it researched on this one. Let's just see if we can find one that actually has something we have. Eh, thank you. Right, so impure terrellium deposits. So, if you're wondering how to, like, mine terrellium. Uh, but, 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 where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, don't tell me I don't have it either. Oh, there it is. So, because this planet has this terrellium deposit, which allows for max one terrellium mine, I could, if I wanted to, produce the terrellium mine on this planet, which will produce terrellium. But, and this is the reason why I don't tend to actually build these, I don't like the fact that it's minus 10 um, percent food from farmer jobs as well as 10 percent from pop happiness and it actually reduces habitability of the planet by 10 percent so this is why i don't tend to use these but it's same for like if we have a look here and we look for that cord uh, cord cordrazine there we go you need pharmaceutical companies or pharmaceutical factories like this one on earth so for that one you're going to need the where is it i know there's some here somewhere uh no 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 okay so we get the burg burgundy yes yeah, burgundy vineyards which produces one supplies and 10 luxuries just naturally that's just something that's on the planet uh, San Francisco, okay, yes, that's not the one. But where's the one that gives me... Hey! Okay, well, that's just completely thrown me off now. Because, I swear... Why? Why? Don't tell me. Have they changed it? They can't have changed it, surely. No, 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 no. This is a poor tutorial, I do apologise. Okay, so it's not there. Okay. Um. Um. Uh, uh, well, we've got this now, which gives me additional bio labs. Um, but there should be Xeno Zoos. So these ones, I think the ones that's like got a golden outline. 
you can see like from that which doesn't have a golden outline to these two these are the ones that allow you to build certain special buildings uh, but I'm trying to find out because I should have some more that have the things that we need no we don't but if you want to build certain buildings like biolabs the ones that produce a lot of science I don't know if I've got them researched as well here no I don't uh, then it's certainly oh god wrong planet again so you've looked for these ones on your planet feature which you can find by this button this is the golden outline ones means that there's certain special buildings that you can actually build on that planet so if we go back i think we've gone through everything now you do have a terraform button um if you want i will show you i mean if you just click on it when you actually get the right technology it'll give you a list of planets and you just click on one of them they also get your trade value here population ah yes i forgot about all these so if you wanted certain jobs, say doctors for population growth, see I've got one of two here. If you wanted both of them, actually um, worked, you can actually just left click, which you'll get this little sign here, which prioritizes it. So now, now that it's got two, and if I say upgraded the Frontier Hospital, then that obviously would get i mean how many more jobs i can't see let's just say it gives you another one job so that'll be two out of three but it'll still be prioritized so any new growth or pop growth will automatically choose that job instead of any of these ones um so you can do that for any of these jobs you get you do have different class of uh jobs you've got rulers which don't really spawn in that much Specialists, which are your alloy foundries, civilian industries, uh, terraformer, only because of Mars has got the Veteron Array. Veteron Array? I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, fusion reactors, mining things, what they're called. Uh, mining networks, and your hydroponics dome are all classed as just standard worker jobs. You can change them. Uh, if you're playing as the Federation, you don't use slaves, so any any species can be any of them. Uh, for armies, you can... Obviously, you'll have defensive armies, uh, which you can get by jobs as well, like... Uh, local garrisons. But if you want assault armies, you click on Recruit here, and you'll get a list once you research more. Uh, obviously, you just click that and you'll start producing assault armies holdings you can use as the federation but if you are a species like the ferengi you can produce holdings and corporate buildings on other species planets so i think i've waffled on long enough i've gone through everything um if there's something you're still not sure on feel free to leave a comment down below and also, if you are in the comments, leave a comment on which tutorial you'd like to see next, whether it be Fleet Yards. I think, actually, no, I've got a Fleet Yards one somewhere. I have made a Fleet Yard, Utopia Planitia Fleet Yard one somewhere. But if there's any other tutorials you'd like to know or see on the channel, then please do leave a comment down below and I will do that for you. Anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial today. If you have, don't forget to leave a like down below. And if you really fancy it, smash that subscribe button. And I'll see all you guys in the next episode. See ya!